Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I am back with another Doodle a Day in March update. Um, let's see, this is where I left off last time. I have seven, right? Two, four, six, seven. Here's my first seven, and here is. This one is the first one of the next set. This is called Groovy. I do not know who created it, but I did at least find the name. The next one, I have not found a name for this one either. Sorry, that way you can see it better. I have not found a name for this one. I did do some shading in it, so it gave a little more depth to the the doodle and I also did do sh uh, shading in this one too took a basic pe I took a pencil and then you know my number three medium hard pencil and then I took the nib right here and when I did it I just kind of went around the edges like that so that the middle is light colored and it shows a little better so that's that one. There's this one. I'll keep looking. Oops. I'll keep looking for the names for these. And hopefully I will have a little placard to put on it before it's over. Then I did this one and I found the name for this one. This one's called Knight's Bridge. And when I put it in the book, I'm doing this one on the diagonal. And I'm going to cut this one in half. So that one will be the one of the next ones to go in. Then I have this one. I do not know the name or the creator for this one either, but I like it because it, they look like paper beads and I love paper beads. So this one had to go in the book. And then I did this one for today. I do not know the name of this one, but I know it's on Pinterest. So I'll need to look it up and I'll tell you the names of the ones that I find that don't have names as soon as I find them. This one is, oh, whoa, well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Sorry. Will it work this way? Can you see the detail in that? They're little squares on top of little squares, and it just goes in a circle, and you just build one on top of the other. I love this one. So simple. A little bit tedious, but it's very simple. All right, so I'm going to glue these guys in. Let me get my paper cutter out. Uh, let's see. I know this one's going to be cut in half on the diagonal. It's a little hard to see. It's like 1030 at night. There's this one. When I drew these, I did do one a day. I'm trying to keep to that, you know, keep to the one a day thing. It's a little hard some days. If I get a little distracted from trying to do other videos and come up with new projects and then you gotta edit the videos. And of course, you know, I still have to cook and clean. <laughs> so annoying, isn't it? Who wouldn't rather craft all day and never cook and clean again? I know there's people out there going, me, 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 me. And if I was not a trained chef, I would say, oh, I don't know how to cook. And I would get out of it. <laughs> it's a little late now for me to pull that shenanigan, though. I don't think my husband's going to fall for it, do you? All right, so that'll be fine that way. There's that one. Oops, need to press down and give it a little more time. Let me get that one. Uh, I think, which one did I decide to split? I know this one's going on the diagonal. The groovy is also going on the diagonal too. So since this one's a little lighter, it's a little easier to see where the wire is to cut through it. Okay, 
There, there we go. Let me back you out a little bit. You don't want to see that much detail on my fingers, do you? And my fingernails need to be polished again. I swear. Two or three days and boom. It's time to fix them. I don't know where... I honestly do not know how I messed them up so badly. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know how on earth you keep lovely fingers in front of your viewers while you do YouTube videos so you don't look like you have like eagle talons for fingers. All right, there's that half. And then, whoops, a little too overzealous on the glue there, dude. Dudette. I'm a dudette. All right. I'm going to glue here. Leave a little space so it folds open. Okay. Yep. That's good to go. I am not, when I do these, I'm not trying to see, you know, are there too many of these line things as opposed to something colored in dark. I'm just putting them in willy-nilly, don't really care. That's not what this is about. Um, so, let's see, do I want to put this one in as a whole one and leave that uncut, or do I want to use it as a diagonal and cut it in half? Well, I think when I was doing this, I decided the beads could be done diagonal, and this one could also be a diagonal because it really wouldn't matter. I don't know. Looking at it, I'm not really sure. I don't remember what I decided. Uh, I think I'd cut the beads on the diagonal. Because it does they're they're not directional. So it doesn't really matter which is up and which is down in this. Because there's really not it's not that important on these. Oops. Didn't cut all the way through. What's up with that? Plan B. There we go. Every time I go to Walmart, I go to the back wall in our little Walmart where I live, and they have sale stuff back there of the goofiest stuff. One of the things they have back there are the blades for my Fisker cutter, and I've been getting two in a package for... Um, $2. Well, actually, maybe it's more like $4. And that's way cheaper. It's $4. That's way cheaper than what you can buy it at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. But I'm thinking that some of these guys are counterfeits because they do not cut. I mean, they just don't cut that well. I've had pretty good luck so far, but I had a dud the other day, and boy, did it tear some paper up. I don't know if other Walmarts have that stuff or not, but every time I go, I make sure I snatch one or two of those up. Because if, you know, they're really, that's a good deal. I mean, they're like six or seven dollars in, in Michaels. And I don't know if it's just my Walmart that sells them for four dollars for two of them or not. See, it's these little doodads here. This thing pops out. And I get two of those for $4. Not bad, huh? All right. Maybe, should I make this one? I'm talking to you guys like you're going to answer. <laughs> oh, man, I really got to get some sleep tonight. <laughs> I don't know. Do I want to cut my circle in half? I kind of like it like it is. I don't want to mess it up. Actually, it looks right, good right there, so that's where it's going. All right, so we're not going to cut this one. I'm going to go ahead and just glue this one in there whole. So, let's see. Tomorrow is, what, the 13th? I have two other videos that are going to beat this out. By the time this hits out, I will have done two more of the doodle patterns for my book. We are moving right along here, aren't we? Oops, need to cut this one in half. I tried something else on this other side. And I really, I might try this as a pattern again later, but I wasn't real thrilled with the way that turned out. So I flipped it over and did something a little less complicated because I was having one of those days where nothing was going right. 
and decided that, you know, maybe I should not force something fabulous on a day where nothing has been fabulous. So I should just think, think plain, simple, and uncomplicated so that I can make it through the rest of the day without going bald. Um, the other videos that I have out that you will see by the time you see this were with those flipping photo blocks. I have to tell you, I don't, by the time I got done taping it, cutting through the tape on one of them and redoing it, I thought I was going to have to go to the loony bin. <laughs> I don't know how you people that have been doing YouTube videos come up with something new and interesting to keep your audience captive for as long as you have. Kudos to you. I don't know. Right now it's going fine because I'm new and everybody thinks I got something that, you know, to, to watch or whatever. But the thing is, is eventually... I won't be the flavor of the month and people will move on to something else. And unless you keep their attention and you show them something they haven't seen or put a new twist on something or inspire them to climb Mount Everest, there you go. You lose them. All right. So this is what we've got so far. Wow. I see a trend here. Light pens, dark. So maybe I need to do some more fill-in stuff that's a little bit darker. Oh, I like the fine, the fine stuff. I love doing the fine stuff. The dark, where you do the extra heavy in the black and coloring, is great. But it's not as big a challenge as the fine line work like that. And then doing the little, these, let's see, this one and this one are done with a .005 micron. This one was done with the three. This one was done with either a two or a three. So I like the smaller, the smaller nibs. I think they give a nicer look. It's okay to color in because these serve a purpose, but I notice I'm going back to the fine stuff. I'm gravitating towards that. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> All right, so that's my update. And for, um, oh, let, me, let me just leave this out to dry. And because that we're doing the tangle a day stuff, I made one of the flipping fo photo blocks in tangle patterns. And no, these are none of the patterns that you see what I've got now. So I tried to change it up so they were different ones. So there's that. I just wanted something different so it would look nice, you know, to challenge myself. So there are eight different drawings on here that I drew. I did not photocopy these. I wished I had of. Whenever, maybe a good advice to follow is whenever you do a pattern that you really like, you think you might use in the future, it would be really good if you photocopied it and saved it for another day so that if you screw up one thing, you have the backup, like these, that I messed up on. This evidently wasn't, it was, it was shy on the other side of, of being even, and so when you flip the block a certain direction, it is so obvious that, you know, stuff didn't go all the way to the edge, and it's very pronounced. I don't care. These were just a fun experiment to see if I can make it work. And this is the one that I cut wrong on the video. I did manage to peel off the paper and replace the tape that I had cut. So I was able to fix it, but not all of them go that well. Anyway, so that's it for me for today. I just thought I would check in and show you my latest doodles for doodle a day and there's my little flipping photo block man that's a mouthful all right that's it for me for this kind of stuff for a few days until i research the names on this and try and see if i can't find some more patterns that are not quite as intricate detail it's time for something big and bold to offset all the tiny detailed stuff so i'll be on the lookout if you guys have any suggestions let me know 
put your comments in the give me your comments and um, I'll see you next time see you in a few days thanks bye